What's in the bag? Can't remember. Can't it's remember the gods. We only were two. That's I know, I don't think really matter which one I wear. This one. Hey YouTube. Hey YouTube. I've got Scott's for what's in the bag. Um, what's in the bag? I did have to borrow one of Scott's bags to get it out of the bag because it was in the car. Yes. Not one, so. Yes. Set one up and see if I can do it this without actually having to get out of the seat. Can't do it without making a noise. So I just picked this up. This is a what's in the bag. Number one. Number one. Oh, it's a strat. It's a strat. Is this the gold one? It's the gold. Oh, look at the neck. Yes, so I just picked it up on the way here. What the? Yes, someone's been hitting it with a hammer, I think. This is the only reason I can think that's, of that happening. That's, somebody, somebody's fallen out with this. <laughs> yeah. So. The guy doesn't play the guitar. He just likes buying them. Listen, well, like, came in a bag of stuff as well. My pal gave me them. Go cheers. Oh, nice. But it came with rope. Oh, it's the tuners. And look. There. That, that was a bonus gift. Oh, how cute is that? <laughs> That's quite heavy as well. It's like brass or something. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Yeah. That, it works on it. just needs a battery. So I just think it's a pound shot battery in that. Very nice. Wee brass clock in the shape of a guitar. Can you see that? Mate? Yeah. I could have that just in the front of my yeah. live stream and I could look and see what time it was. When it was Bucky time. Yeah. So when he bought that from a specialist vintage guitar dealer, I told him it was an 80s Japanese guitar. Lion bastard. Yeah, I don't think it's a an eighties Japanese guitar. J in the Jap Japan would do an egg like that. What? Knots in it. Yeah. That's all naughty bit of wood. Naughty. It's very Chinese looking. Do you know court maybe? Something like that. It's very light as well, isn't it? He said it was Japanese. No, he said he was told it was Japanese. Oh right, he was told it was Japanese. Yes. Is that by oh, his, his luthier who was a luthier for forty years or something like that? It's by, by an actual specialist eBay thing. It's actually called something vintage guitars. I'm going for early 90s. It's really disconcerting because the bridge saddles are all the wrong height. I mean, the bottom one's got a really low action and everything else is quite high. <laughs> is that what it is? I really looked at it. The most interesting of guitars. Very light. That's good though. Sometimes <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it is. It's okay. It feels like a like a Squire affinity. Yeah. More than a vintage Japanese guitar. Yeah. But I didn't buy it as a Japanese guitar. It's quite dark sounding, isn't it? Sounds like you get the tone controls on, no? They're all full up. Huh? 
considering we'd be very far away from the pickup. That's quite dark, then. String stretched. No, I said to be fair, he did say he didn't play the guitar, so the it's fact that it was sort of inching. Mad. I mean, it's not the ugliest guitar I've ever seen, or the most interesting guitar I've ever seen, but it guitars. Um, more pickups and some switches, perhaps. More pickups, more switches, better paint. Less holes. Less holes. Put a lot of holes. You can't see that on the camera, but he's hit it with a hammer or a pick or something yeah. and dug small holes into the body all, all over here. Yeah. Which but is a shame. But you can see the way stuff gets under the paint and starts to. Yeah. See that? So it's either been dampness or something. Most likely condensation. Yeah. Getting under the paint, staying in the wood. Yeah. And some kids just really not like the guitar and decide to hit it. Falling out with it. Yeah, you're a bastard. <laughs> Yeah. There you go, shot. Did you have a shot in the guy's house? Yeah, I just played for two minutes, I. So I knew it was, I knew it was working. Yeah. Just as a set up there. It's quite yeah. high action, see what I mean? It's quite disconcerting because that lower one, the string line doesn't look great on the bottom string either. It may just be because of the way the machine heads are sitting. But see if you look at the string alignment on the neck, if you look at it face on. It's very close to the edge at the edge there. Just a bit, yeah. Close <coughs> to the edge. Yeah. A song in that. We'll just pull it back into position. Oh, well done. Yeah, so maybe some, t <laughs> some tightening up of some bolts or maybe... Yes. A surface. Oh, well, you go. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, I can actually tune it. My God, really? That's nothing like it. <laughs> Great tuners. Yeah. Well, that's the stablest flat guitar, isn't it? Dead stable. Oh, so what, the worst thing you just put new strings on a guitar and then just not ever not stretch them and leave it six months, so yeah. they're still new strings. And they're like, they've been on a guitar with a different scale length. I can see the wee notches in between the in between this. See the in between this? Are they? <laughs> yeah, you can see the wee dots. See the wee dots you see on the strings when they've been on a different. I do, yeah. We do that as well, to be honest with you, when we're shifting guitars through, rather than. Because what yeah. a normal person does is get that guitar home and strip all, strip it all to bits. Clean I it. think normal people do that. I do that. Well, I think everybody does that. Who's who's into guitars? They take it home and put the strings on that they prefer, unless they're already on it and they're fresh. But it's part of the process. Isn't it? it's, like the Jap no, it's like the Japanese tea making thing when you've got go through a process when you get things. Clean it, restring it, lower the action. You know, I think you find if I get a guitar that's working and the strings on it aren't pure terrible, those strings stay on it for another few weeks until they're totally oh, shit, then yeah, I'll put yeah. new strings on it and clean it properly. No, I usually get it straight home and get my army ball sacks right out. Ball sacks out. Uh, yes. I like it though, it's nice. I mean, it's, it's inoffensive. It's a nice enough looking wee guitar, apart from the stab yeah, holes. Apart from the stab holes, yeah. A couple of scars, but we've all got them, right? Yeah, they're going for the sitter. Yeah. yeah. I wonder, can I want to see the way the strings kind of twisted there? I wonder, can I bridge it with one before, previously? Mm. I think they might have just been off it. I wonder if they've, uh, they've definitely been... On something different. They've definitely been on something different. I recognise these things. Like, something like tail. Got a nice wave pattern to the string set. Yes. Okay, that's like kind of down and then up over the B and then back it, down again. It's really disconcerting to look over, isn't it? Yeah. You feel that the string's missing. Oh, the string line, it's away again. 
Oh, there you go, perfect, perfect. Yeah, uh, make it do something. So that was what was in the bag, it was a Gould. One. Was that not just one? Have we not got two? There's one here, but we'll make it into two episodes of your. Alright, okay, that, that'll do for me.